He Weddle, our guy. He yeah. went out on top after two years at the crib, and he he took a shot at uh, Telesco too in his post game. I wouldn't say a shot, but what what's kind of I missed that one. What he say? He he just kind of called him out. Like uh, shout out to Telesco too on how you know shit went over there with the Chargers. Because remember he talked about it when he came on the show. Uh, he yeah. you know so he's still salty about that. How how you know they went about the business. Obviously they drafted him, gave him a chance, but he played there, gave him you know all pro years, and he didn't like how it ended. So uh, for him it, to come man. back after two years out the game and win it in the stadium that Telesco still play, you know, works in. I, I mean, I, I, I feel him, man. You know, I was like that for, for a hot second. You know what I'm saying? Just to have the departure goals when you feel as though you give your all yeah. to a place to or to an organization. You know what I'm saying? And for you to and 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 knowing that, you know, we understand the business. We understand that, mm -hmm. you know, it doesn't always go how don't we take, want don't, it. Don't take it personal, A.B. Hey. <laughs> it's business, not it's personal. Business. That's what they tell it's, you, right? Yeah, yeah. Don't take but I, I, I got to take it personal. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I put my all in this. You know what I'm saying? Um, If I didn't take it personal, it means I didn't care about it. You know what I'm saying? So I, I definitely get it. Um, since then, though, you know, I, you know, me and my guy, man, we, we, we on better terms. But so this, this was the tweet. Um, shout out to Ewell. Shout out, sh big shout out to Ewell. Uh, this is the tweet from at Daniel R. Popper, Eric Weddle, unprompted quote. I also want to thank old Tom Telesco for the way that things ended in San Diego, and showing me the light and giving me that motivation and that fire. I always said that Eric Weddle would get the last laugh. And I'm a world champ now. Close quote. So Sean Merriman, uh, former uh, Charger, he tweeted in response. I don't get it, man. Everybody loves E-Dub, including us. No need to do this. You're a champ now. And somebody we respect. And then Quandre Diggs responded to him and said, nah, talk your talk, duh. We always supposed to take the high, high road. Hell nah. So... <laughs> That you get is different dynamics. People feel different. different ways about it. Yeah. But I respect it. You know, E. Weddle, he said it before the game. This is it. I'm not coming back. I already retired. Called him off the couch. Came in, did his thing. Wanted, so he ain't tripping about, you know, burning the bridge or something like that. And he's just talking from the heart, man. I don't think it was disrespectful. It is what it is, man. I like man, it. Shout out to E. Dub. Yeah, you got to speak your truth, man. Like, I, I would hate to... And I think that's one thing that people got to do. Like, you got to speak your truth. If that's your truth, you speak it, you get it off your chest. If it makes you sleep better at night, you do that. Fact. You know what I'm saying? And that's what he did. Like, he spoke his truth when he was able to. Um, That's something, like you just said, D-Butt, that's something that's been been eating at him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he... And and, and to Tom Telesco, my guy. You know what I mean? We, we was in... No, he yeah, was I in... With I rock with Telesco, too. I, I rock with Telesco, but at the end of the day, sure. Why don't you speak your truth, my man? Speak your truth, man. Another another.